Hello there. Today, I'd like to do a quick walkthrough on 2024 Polito Line OneNote Digital Planner. If you are new to OneNote Planner, this video will give you an idea on how it works. If you've used Polito Line OneNote Planner before, I'm excited to introduce a new feature of our planner, which is Google Apple Outlook Calendar integration. The good thing about using a OneNote Planner is that it's compatible with multiple platforms. And its powerful sync feature allows us to sync the planner across all our devices. I'll first walk you through the 2024 OneNote Planner on a Windows computer, and I'll briefly touch on its iPad experience at the end. Here we have two OneNote files open in OneNote for Windows 10, the primary planner and the work life templates. The primary planner includes all the essential planning pages, such as yearly, monthly, weekly, and daily pages. And the work life templates includes the lifestyle sections such as finance, nutrition, wellness, fitness, productivity, to-do list, note templates, etc. I'll show you how to incorporate these extra templates to the primary planner later on. Now let me show you how to navigate the primary planner. As you can see, we can intuitively navigate the planner through the sidebar. To make the planner easier to navigate, I've added hundreds of thousands of hyperlinks throughout the planner. You can easily jump between monthly, weekly, and daily pages like so. Now let me show you how the Google Apple Outlook Calendar integration works. As you can see, there are three links at the upper right corner of every page, Google, Apple, and Outlook. If you click on any of these links, it will pull up the specific calendar and let you add a new event to that calendar and you set a reminder for it. Well, you might be asked to sign in first if you are signed out of your account. Bear in mind, make sure to sign into the account where you want the event you created to go to. Okay, let's move to the Apple Calendar. To demonstrate this, I now have the planner open on my Mac. To make the calendar integration work, you need to install this shortcut. Then click the Apple link and it will give you a few prompts to add a new event to your Apple Calendar. One thing I want to mention here is that the calendar links will always let you add an event on the current date no matter where you click them. So you do need to select the date and time yourself. Well. The idea is that the calendar links allow us to add an event directly from the planner without interrupting your workflow. You can copy and paste the event detail to your planner if you like. Now let me show you how to incorporate the extra templates from the work life templates to the primary planner. You can simply copy the whole section to the planner like so. Or you can copy a page to the planner. or you can copy the template to a page of the planner. Let's say I want to copy the meeting notes to the daily page of January 1st. And you set the template as background. What I love about OneNote for digital planning or note taking is its infinite canvas. 
To make the most of this feature, the daily layout is designed to be minimalist, leaving you with the infinite space for customization. For instance, you can do your work planning or journaling. Here I have some of my notes when I worked on the GoodNotes 6 tutorial video. And let's assume that I'm making these notes on January 2nd. When I need to look back at these notes, I can simply use the search tool to find it. Another way to customize the daily page is to do gratitude journaling, self-care, or even just doodling if you like. The same goes for the weekly page and the monthly calendar. Now I want to show you how the planner works on the tablet. Let's take iPad as an example. As you can see, the changes I just made to the planner on my desktop now sync to my iPad. If you have a stylus like Apple Pencil, you can tap the draw mode here and choose the pen tool to write. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can simply use the text mode to type in your notes. The 2024 OneNote Planner also comes with a sticker book. You can use these stickers to decorate your planner and make planning more fun. Okay, I hope you find this video helpful. Please let me know your thoughts on the calendar app integration and any suggestions on how I can make the OneNote Planner better for you. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.